Hi friends, welcome to AK Electric YouTube channel. In this video, we will see SFRA test. First, we will see the principle of the test. At variable frequency, a low constant voltage is injected to one end of transformer winding and output of that voltage is measured at the other end of transformer winding. Output is in the form of logarithmic scale or linear scale. Simply, we can say as graph. Okay, now let's see the purpose of this test. It is used to detect core movements and core displacements. It is used to detect winding displacements and winding deformations. It also helps in finding broken or even loosened clamping structures. This test also finds open windings and shorter turns in transformer. It also detects partial winding collapse and faulty core ground and many more etc. In this content, we will see concept of SFRA test, test kit and its accessories, test procedure with circuit diagram, test report analyze and many more. So don't skip the video, watch fully. What is SFRA stands for? It is called as Sweep Frequency Response Analyze. Concept of RLC in electrical equipment. Before getting into SFRA test, one have to know about RLC in an electrical equipment. All electrical equipment will have RLC that is resistance, inductance and capacitance. Some electrical equipment will have resistance very less or even zero compared to inductance and capacitance. Some electrical equipment will have inductance very less or even zero compared to resistance and capacitance. Some electrical equipment will have capacitance very less or even zero compared to resistance and inductance. Hence, electrical equipment is considered as RLC circuit. Each equipment have their own unique signature like human fingerprint. RLC in transformer. In this slide, one can able to observe inside transformer body, resistance in conductor, L inductance in winding coils, C capacitance in insulating medium that is transformer oil. If transformer is affected by huge fall current or earthquake or tap changer broken etc then original value of RLC of transformer will get affected. So it is necessary to check is there any change in RLC value of transformer. This can be tested by SFRA test. RLC role in transformer. Transformer winding is separated from other winding by paper insulation which acts as dielectric. Also, transformer oil acts as insulating medium which forms capacitance C. Transformer conductor and winding forms resistance R and inductance L. One can also observe RLC from shown transformer circuit. These RLC will be unique for each transformer like human fingerprint. These have chance to change their values in transformer due to many reasons. So this test is also called as fingerprint test. So it is necessary to check RLC of transformer by SFRA test. Concept of SFRA test. Injecting a signal to the one end of transformer winding terminal and measuring the same signal at the other end of transformer winding terminal. Here applied signal is frequency with various levels at 10 volt AC. Applied frequency varies from 20 Hz to 2 MHz. When test starts frequency slowly increases from 20 Hz to 2 MHz step by step. When test starts voltage will be at 10 volt AC only as input. As frequency increases, we will get different output voltages at different frequency based on RLC of transformer. Through measurement cable, one will get response frequency as output of this test. This response frequency will plot the different voltage. After plotting, one will get graph as y-axis and x-axis. This work all will be done by testing kit. Simply one have to start the testing kit. As a result, software in the test kit will give us graph. That's all. Test ends. These are the three testing kit which is most widely used for SFRA test. One is Megafrax 101-150 series. Second one is Omicron. Third one is DV Power FRA 500. Test kit accessories. Injection cable two numbers. Source cable and reference cable. Measurement cable one number that is response cable. Test kit earthing cable. C clamps which is specially used for this test. Bright earth cable for bushings. Okay, let's see the test procedure for SFRA test. Transformer oil should be filled. Make sure neutral should be disconnected from earth. Transformer bushing should be connected and it should be cleaned well. Transformer core should be earthed. Tap portion should be at one. Test kit and transformer body should be earthed. Bushing should be earthed with bright earth cables. Test kit will have injection cable two numbers called source cable and reference cable. And measurement cable one number is called response cable. This one can observe from the shown diagram. Connect the test kit injection cable that is source and reference cable to the one end of winding as shown. Also connect the measurement cable that is response cable to the other end of winding as shown. Select 10 volt AC and 20 Hz to 2 MHz frequency from the test kit for injection. After selection of voltage and frequency, start the test kit. Within 40 seconds, result will come in graph format. Finally, test result will be in graph format will be evaluated. Test connection for HV winding R2B. Test procedure. 
transformer body and testicular is earthed as shown. Transformer HV's red face and blue face bushing were earthed with bright earth cable using C clamp as shown. Test kit source cable and reference cable should be connected to red face bushing using C clamp for injection purpose. Test kit response cable is connected to blue face bushing using C clamp for measuring purpose. Select 10 volt AC and 20 Hz to 2 MHz frequency from the test kit for injection. After selection of voltage and frequency, start the test kit. Within 40 seconds, result will come in graph format. While test is in progress, frequency will inject from test kit slowly from 20 Hz to 2 MHz. Once frequency reaches 2 MHz, test kit will stop injection and give us result in graph format. One can observe from the circuit diagram that voltage and frequency circulation in red arrows. It starts from test kit source cable and ends in test kit's response cable. Here the circuit is in bigger size so one can easily visualize the test connections and frequency circulations. SFR test connection for two winding transformer. By keeping LV open, we have to test 1U to 1N, 1V to 1N, 1U to 1N. Also we have to test by keeping LV short 1U to 1N, 1V to 1N, 1U to 1N. Also we have to test three more connections by keeping HV open 2U to 2V, 2V to 2W, 2W to 2U. So totally nine major connections. Note tap changer position should be in one for all test connections. SFR test connections for three venting transformer. Vector group I have shown here clearly. According to vector diagram, HV side and LV side will be star connection, whereas TV side will be delta connection. Neutral will be common for high voltage side and LV side. Open circuit test. H1 to X1, H2 to X2, H3 to X3, X1 to neutral, X2 to neutral, X3 to neutral, Y1 to Y2, Y2 to Y3, Y3 to Y1. So total 9 combinations we have to test. When testing H1 to X1, all other winding should be kept open. So now we have to test 9 test connections for short circuit test. By keeping LV short circuit, we have to test H1 to neutral, H2 to neutral, H3 to neutral. By keeping TV short, we have to test 6 combinations that is H1 to neutral, H2 to neutral, H3 to neutral, X1 to neutral, X2 to neutral, X3 to neutral. So for all these tests, tap portion should be 1. SFR test connection for LV side X1 to neutral. Test connections. Here shown test connection for LV side X1 to neutral. For testing X1 winding, one should give connection according to shown diagram. HV side should be kept open. Voltage and frequency circulation shown in red arrows. Test kit and transformer body should be earth. Tap changer position should be 1. One can also observe actual bushing connection using C clamps. Frequency ranges. Importance of frequency ranges. In SFR test, frequency injection range will be from 20 Hz to 2 MHz. At every certain range of frequency injection, will detect specific problems in transformer. Those will be listed below. 20 Hz to 2 kHz. It deals with core winding inductance. It will detect problems in core deformation, core ground problems, shorter turns, open circuits, residual magnetism. 2 kHz to 20 kHz. It deals with bulk winding component. It will detect problems like winding movement and shunt impedance. 20 kHz to 400 kHz. It deals with main winding. It helps in detection of deformation within main winding and tap winding. 400 kHz to 2 MHz. It deals with main winding, tap winding and internal leads. It helps in detection of movement of the main and tap windings and ground impedance variations. Note, this frequency range is general reference estimation only. Differs with transformer design. SFR test result. One can observe from the top result that transformer was tested at factory. Factory test result were stored and sent to site representative person. In site, once again same transformer was tested for verification. That one can observe from bottom test result. One can observe from bottom graph that site graph have slight difference than factory graph at 10 kHz. It shows transformer in transportation have got affected. Maybe mechanical displacement, winding movement taken place. So, it is necessary to cross check the transformer with other tests. SFR test result evaluation. Evaluation can be done by three types. Time based evaluation, phase based evaluation, design based evaluation. Time based evaluation. Compare the present test result with previous test result. That is, site test result can be compared with factory test result. Phase based evaluation. Compare the test result of R phase winding with other phases, that is, Y phase and blue phase. Likewise, other combinations. Also, one can compare the test result. Design-based evaluation. 
Compare the test result with similar type of transformer test result. The transformer which is used for comparison should be the same nameplate and same transformer manufacturer. I hope this video is informative to everyone. If you like this video, subscribe, like and click the bell icon. Thank you.